Hey, what's up, guys? I'm on Arts here, and today I have a very exciting tutorial. I am going to be showing you guys how to recreate this hot glow logo reveal effect in Cinema 4D. So, if you guys didn't see the tutorial preview, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. This is the effect. And that's about it. It's pretty simple and it's also really easy to do. And you can use the similar technique to create something completely different. So we're basically just going to be using sweep nerves in Cinema 4D and um, making this kind of glowing line outline your logo onto this metal background. So let's get started. So we're going to go into Cinema 4D. So first of all, I like to do this right away. We're just going to center the camera so we have a straight on view and you can see in the intro it's like that and then we're just going to go to the timeline and we're going to type in 300 because it's 10 seconds long and there is 30 frames in a second you do the math and we're just going to add a camera real quick click this black button next to the camera to get rid of that green line thing and we're simply just gonna put a keyframe at the beginning and the end of the timeline and that's just gonna keep our camera view locked on at this perspective alright now we're just gonna create the background and you can see it's just this kinda cool metal texture you probably recognize it in real life kinda this metal grid texture so we're gonna add a cube and for the size X and Y we're just gonna type in 1000 so it's just going to cover the whole screen and that looks about good and before we go any further let's just do the render settings real quick for the output I'm going to do 1920 for the width and 1080 for the height you can do 1280 by 720 it's up to you frame range we obviously want all frames and for the save we are going to do QuickTime Movie sorry if I'm going a bit fast for you guys but Render settings are kind of boring, and if you don't know this stuff, you can keep replaying the video and stuff. And now let's just add one effect, Globe Illumination, which is going to make the lighting do this cool effect. It just makes the lighting a lot more realistic. On nearly every intro, I use ambient occlusion, but this is like one of the only ones where it's not necessary, and it will only add to the render time for no reason. So we're just going to go into this box right here and put these two at low and that's all we need to do and we're done with the render settings wasn't that easy alright so now let's add this uh, metal kind of grid material to the background or the cube so we're going to go into our browser right here just click that button and oops I already have it let's pretend you guys starts like this so you're just gonna go into the presets going to go to architecture edition you're going to go to materials going to go to metal now you can see we got a lot of these cool metal materials if you guys aren't familiar with the Cinema 4D content browser you should definitely use it um, even looking at some of the materials and it just gives you ideas to create your own materials and you can see they have even more of the materials they have animations, cameras going to this advanced render they got loads of stuff so if you feel like you know everything about Cinema 4D or you've done everything just check out this content browser a lot of cool stuff yeah I don't want to get off topic so let's go back to the metals and we're gonna be using this one right here it's G001 it should be near the top of the list so just gonna double click it and add it into the materials section and now we can just simply drag this onto the cube. Whoa, what's going on? Don't want it like this. We're going to need to change the projection to cubic. And for the tiles, I have it set on 3 for the X and 3 for the Y. You guys can choose whatever values you want. All right. Uh, looks good. One sec, guys. Be back in a sec.
<laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Uh, yeah, let's get back into the tutorial. So, we are going to need to choose a logo for this effect. So basically the logo is going to be a spline, and if you click on this button, you have lots of different splines here. What I'm going to be using for this example is not my Modern Arts logo, but actually a Batman logo uh, that is created with the DC Comics font, and I got that font from dafont.com. And if I type in the letter B, that's basically code for this cool Batman logo. And if you go to dafont.com, um, you should be familiar with it. It's basically the best font site out there. But if you head into the category Dingbats and then go to Logos, you can see you got all these cool logos. And these works these work great for this effect. So if you want, you can pause the video now and choose a logo. But if you already have a logo in mind, for example, your own logo, that works too. But basically, all you need to do is choose a spline, which is basically kind of like a 2D outline. And if you don't have one in mind, you can come here and choose the circle. Because uh, once you've chosen your spline, you can always go back and replace it with something else. So yeah, just get a spline chosen. That's basically going to be your logo. I probably said that a thousand times. And now we're going to go into the, we're going to add a sweep nerb effect. So click this button and go to sweep nerbs. And this is basically the effect that's going to allow us to uh, um, have this logo kind of create itself out of nothing and sweep around. I probably worded that really badly, but let's just let's just do it. So we're also going to go to spline tool and we're going to load a rectangle. Now, you're going to have your rectangle on top of the text and you're going to hold, or whatever you're using for your spline, you're going to hold shift, select both of these, and simply drag them into the sweep nerves. Probably thinking right now, what the fuck is going on with this? So you're going to need to, for the rectangle, you're probably going to want to put the width and height at somewhere around 8, somewhere between 5 and 10. And you can see now this looks a lot better. And we're going to check off rounding. And I'm going to put the radius at 3. So now you can see we have kind of a cool rounded logo of the Batman. Uh, you might have a different spline. Maybe your own logo, maybe a letter, maybe a circle, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but let now let's add the material for this, kind of that glowing orange material. So you're going to double click right here to make a new material and double click again to edit it. For the color, we're just going to type in 15. Uh, yeah, 15. Type in 15, and then just move it to the top right all the way. So you got kind of a reddish orange color. And now we're going to check off luminance. Go to 15 degrees again, and same color. Just drag it all the way to the top right. And let's put the brightness. Let's try 300. Looks good. Actually, maybe 250. And now we're just going to add a glow. And we're going to put the inner strength at 100, and the outer strength at 100, and the radius at 3. So let's just go over that real quick. For the color channel, we have a bright orange. Red, for the luminance, we have 250% brightness and the same color. And for the glow, we have 100% for inner strength and 100% for outer strength. And the radius is on 3. So let's drag this onto our logo. Let's just drag it onto the sweet nerves, and we're just gonna hit this render button and see how it looks. See if it looks anything similar to what we created, what I created in the other thing. All right, so you can see. Oops, don't want to open up iChat. It looks pretty similar. Of course, it's gonna look a little bit different because this is a different logo. 
and this one is going to cast a lot more light because there's more lines and it's kind of like a bigger logo. But in general, this is looking pretty good. We might want to decrease the luminance to, let's try 150, see if that works a little bit better to get more of an orange color. Yep, that definitely looks a little bit better at uh, 150. And basically we're almost done with the effect. We've made the background, we've made this logo, except we haven't animated it. So the animation is actually really easy, or the animating is actually really easy. Just going to click on the sweep nerbs, go to the object tab, and we're basically just going to keyframe the start growth. So you can see, if we put that at 100%, the logo is no longer there. And now if we start slowly um, decreasing it to 0%, you can see that basically grows our logo. And if you do the same thing with the end growth, put it at 0% and then keyframe it up to 100%. Does the same thing except basically from another angle. So I'm actually going to keyframe the end growth. So we're going to go to frame 0 in the timeline and to keyframe the end growth at 0% I'm just going to control click on that little gray circle right next to it so it turns red and let's go to frame 240 on the timeline which is 8 seconds and we're just going to drag it up to 100% and now it's the little circle is going to turn yellow I'm just going to control click so it turns red and now we've animated this logo to grow so let's watch that and see how it looks you can see a pretty cool effect it's kind of entertaining to watch if we render it halfway you're not really quite sure what it is but then you kinda slowly reveals itself and you realize that's a Batman logo. So basically our last step, let's just animate the camera. So at frame zero we're just gonna zoom in a little bit. Actually kind of a lot. And by frame three hundred let's just zoom out a little bit. Alright, and let's play that animation. Alright, so it looks pretty cool. That's basically the tutorial on how to create this cool hot glow logo reveal. I hope this was a helpful tutorial. Either way, please like the video. Actually, only if this helped you. Please like the video. I really appreciate it. It motivates me to make more tutor tutorials for you guys. And if you want to request a tutorial, feel free to comment. Alright, thanks for watching, guys.